Today we are making something sweet. If you love sweets, anything sweet, then this is the recipe for you because today I'm going to be showing you how to make apple pie filling. It's so easy to make and the good thing about it, it's homemade. I'm going to be using a couple of ingredients and I have apples. I'm using three apples, one lemon, salt, vanilla essence, two cups water, cornstarch, sugar, cinnamon and nutmeg that is all i'm going to be using for today and it's going to be incredible i am going to start off by peeling my apples so quick tip for you if you make the pie filling with the with the apple skin it's going to be a little bit tough so that's why i'm peeling and also you can use any apple you find whether it's the green ones the pink lady the red ones so i'm quickly going to peel these apples and add some lemon juice because i don't want my apples to oxidize Now I've finished peeling my apples, I'm going to chop them. So I'm chopping them into medium size. And I'll add them in my bowl. In there goes my my three apples I'm going to cut my lemon then I'll squeeze half a lemon to my apples because I don't want them to oxidize then I'll toss them around in the lemon juice You can use a spatula or your hands. So this is how it's looking when I've tossed around with the lemon. So I'm going to keep this aside. Then I'll pick my two cups of water. Then I'll add my cornstarch. Then I'll use a spoon and stir around until there are no lumps. Now that my cornstarch and water are well combined, I'm going to take my pots. Place it on my cooker. Then I'm going to add my cornstarch water in the pot. Next, I'm going to add sugar, my spices, half a teaspoon of vanilla essence, a little bit of salt. You can find all these ingredients listed in the description box down below. And then on medium flame, I'll use this all together until bubbling. So you'll keep whisking this, don't go and do other errands. Just watch over your pots. As you can see, it has started bubbling up. So I'm going to reduce the flames to medium low. Then I'm going to let this simmer for around two minutes. So this is how it's looking and as you can see, it's thick. So I'm going to add my apples into the pan. Then I'm going to stir in using my whisk. And then you're going to let this simmer for around 10 to 13 minutes or depending on the thickness of your apples and let them cook until soft. So this is how it's looking after 10 minutes and it's already very thick. I'm going to turn off the flames. 
you're going to let this completely cool so i'll see you after 10 minutes Earlier I made my pastry dough and then I used a cookie cutter to cut out my hand pie to this size so you can use any size you, you want. So you can check it out up here and then because everything is ready now I'm going to make my apple pies. So you're going to start off by preheating your oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. And also you're going to line your baking tray or whatever you're going to use with parchment paper like mine. So I'm going to keep this aside and then now you're going to fill our pie dough. So I have picked one so I'm going to use a spoon. As you can see my apple pie filling is looking amazing. And you can double up the recipe if you want more pies. And these, by the way, are very sweet. They're so sweet and nice. Once you make them, you're truly going to enjoy. Then I'm going to scoop out a little bit of the apple pie filling and place it on my pastry dough. Then I'm going to pick another one and place it on top like I'm doing. And I'm going to use my fork and seal the ends of the pie dough. So I'm going to place this in my baking tray and then I'm going to do the rest. So you can use any pattern you wish using a fork or a spoon. You can make these pies as many as you want so if it's for an occasion and you want to make desserts this is the recipe for you i have my egg wash so i'm going to use a knife and poke the top of the pie and also I had three remaining pie dough so I made <laughs> another pattern of the pie dough so I'm going to use my brush and brush the top of the pies with my egg wash so you can use egg wash, you can use butter, melted butter. So you're going to bake this for 30 minutes or until golden brown. My apple pies are ready and they're smelling amazing from the cinnamon, oh my God. And they have that golden brown color on top and I'm ready to eat. <laughs> I'm so ready to have one. So I'm going to give one a try. I love how you can taste the cinnamon and the apples. So good. And also the crust is amazing. It brings out that salty, sugary <laughs> taste in your mouth. So I'd give this 10 over 10 and I'm happy about it. I hope you give my recipe a try and you can also change the feeling on the inside and you will surely enjoy each and every bite.